guys welcome back to the vera projects uh, i'm going to do a few upgrades on the ender 5 plus uh, one of the first upgrades i'm going to do is i'm going to move the the one bar that's in front of the machine i'm going to move it a little bit down and then i'm going to upgrade the fan so when it prints i'm able to print without supports so let me go ahead and start showing you how to move the bar down okay so now what i'm talking about the bar is uh, it's this bar here the goal is for me to go ahead and kind of grab that and move it down so what is that going to do that's going to allow this bed to actually be at eye level without this bar being in the way so i can make sure that my prints are coming out perfect okay so i went ahead and i removed the brackets that were holding this together um, these guys right here, these, uh, they are the, placed right here. I just went ahead, removed two of the screws and done. Then I went ahead and I printed out these new supports here that I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install those supports. And they line up exactly to the holes that are already there. So no need to stress out, they align. And I'm going to go ahead and let me just show you how to put this together. Yeah, so don't mind the hangers. I have this in an actual closet that I run the machine in because it's where I like it to keep it quiet. So this is one of the supports here. I'm gonna go ahead and place it here. And then I'm gonna reuse the screws that I took out initially to put this together. And then this is actually gonna go right below here and it's gonna fit right here, okay? So let me go ahead and start putting those screws in. so I wanted to show you I went in here and I ended up using uh, the M4 by 12 screws with the M4 T slot nuts so I put one here and one here these were the original screws I took out from the previous brackets remember these guys here and I placed them in here okay and then you can see the other side here as well how it looks like so as you know now you see this bar is no longer in the way like it used to be so I can actually see the bed at a full level if I need to without actually uh, having to maneuver my camera or my eyes or wherever in order for me to go ahead and see how my print is doing all right guys so I'm back so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do an upgrade to the Hydra for the Ender 5 plus Okay, and what that does, it's gonna increase the um, the amount of fans I'm gonna be adding. Plus it helps the filament dry faster and you don't have to use supports pretty much at all. So I'm gonna go ahead, set this up and kind of show you all the pieces that I printed. All right, so I went ahead and I printed all of these pieces here. These are the additional fans I'm gonna be adding here. Um, these fans are going to be sitting here on the side like this and blowing the air through to cool off the the nozzle and then You know, this is for the additional fan here and the fans that I bought. I'm going to show you what they are So this is one of the fans here the NFA 4x10 I'm going to make sure I include all of these links and things like that on Amazon for Amazon for you to purchase them if you like um, so that's one of them and then the other ones that I got <clears throat> Were these right here the Winson, okay Now the cool thing about these that uh, you get four fans. Uh, it's pretty cheap Like I think I paid maybe 15 bucks if I remember it's been a while but um, Yeah, these are the fans I'm putting on the side and this is the fan that I'm gonna put here on the front so going back to the instructions I'm gonna make sure I follow these instructions to the T. So at this point, as you see here, I have to remove um, the, the mounting plate that's currently there right now. All right, guys, so I took everything off the rail. Um, as you see here, here are the fans and everything. I'm still uh, 
having to uh, set everything up. So I took out this plate that was running through here, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount this piece here onto the plate. Okay, so one thing I realized, the little pieces, um, I made the holes a little bit bigger for this piece to go in. You see these little guys? Hold on, let me show you what it is. See this right here? It wasn't going through this hole. So I grabbed the drill, I made the hole a tiny bit bigger. So that way, I can go ahead and mount this the right way. So this is what it's going to look like. I just have to tighten these really quick. One thing to remember, make sure that you mount this on before you tighten the nuts, okay? Because I just tightened the nuts and I forgot about it, so I had to untighten them all to put it all back on. Just keep that in mind. So let me go ahead and tighten those. Okay, so... I went ahead, I tightened all this up, and then I made sure that I put the belts back on. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount, we're gonna mount the nozzle system back where it was before. Just make sure you pull the fans away from it. Okay. All right guys, so I wanna show you where I'm at. Okay, so the two fans are still out, right? And the Beal Touch connector is still out. So what I did here is I made sure that this guy is completely alone from the power cables for the, um, for the nozzle, okay? So this is what it's looking for so far. I went ahead, I put in screws here. I have a nut in here. Okay, what I used here were um, M3s by 30s, so they were long enough to actually fit. And then here, I used an M3 by 16, and then I put a nut on this side to hold it all together. Okay, so the, the next part that is gonna come is to eventually hook up the Beal Touch and then um, mount these fans in here, okay? So the goal is to mount these guys in here and then rewire uh, some of this by soldering it to make it all work. So I'm almost there. I'm not too far away from getting this completed. I'll make sure that I video it all. So just stay with me. All right guys, so let me show you what we have so far. So. I went ahead and I grabbed the honeycomb that goes for the fan and I hooked up the BL touch in here. As you see, the cable goes through the back, through the little sliver back here. And it hooks up to the BL touch, okay? And then the goal is to, let me show you. So now that we have the fan, I mean the honeycomb here, you're gonna hook up the fan to this. I'm gonna put it in through there like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and mount it in here. Okay. Then I will show you how to go ahead and wire, rewire all of this fans to make it all work. Okay. This is how it's looking so far. I was able to slide this guy in. Basically what happens is that it has like these little teeth in here, right? So those little teeth actually grab it, grab into the little teeth in here and you're able to adjust this to go up and down however it is that you like 
Okay, so. All right, guys, so a uh, few things to keep in mind. Uh, when you put this fan on, make sure that the uh, it, it, it is blowing your way, okay? Another thing I've learned is that the um, <clears throat> this fan, what you wanna, wanna do is you wanna hook up only the black and the red wires to the black and red wires that comes from the machine itself. And then the the yellow wire goes to the red for these two fans because I, I merged these two fans. I brought them together and then I hooked them up to the yellow and then the black wire of these two fans uh, went to the blue, okay? If you do want to test the fans to make sure they're all working, you can always go here into your settings and click fan and that will turn on all your fans to make sure they're all working properly, okay? So overall, uh, it took me about about three and a half, four hours to do this. So I would definitely uh, give yourself some time um, when doing this project. So now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of tidy up the cables and make sure they look all nice and clean coming through here. All right, guys, here we go. I'm back. I got all the cables in here. Everything is set up good. The EPL touches on, the fans are blowing. As you see here, I got my temperature, making sure that it's holding the temperature itself. Uh, I did have to go ahead and adjust this guy. I had to move it out a little bit because every time I was set, set at home, this part here would actually hit this area, would actually hit this area right here. So. Just to keep some things in mind, I had to also lift this up because it was getting stuck over here on this right here. So it had to be slightly up a little bit more. Um, but I think that I'm good now, overall. I'm doing the first print since I've changed everything. Everything seems very good. I did level the bed one more time just to make sure. I also made sure that there was enough spacing here between um, between the fans and the bed, as you can see. But it's looking great overall. So I'm very happy with the upgrade. I wanna show you all the angles. Alright guys, well I hope that you like the installation of the Hydra for the Ender 5 Plus. Uh, go ahead, give us your feedback. Um, it did take me about three and a half hours. It was a pretty, it was easy, but a little bit of a challenge, you know, because it was the first time me doing it, so I wasn't really sure if I was going to, you know, hit any roadblocks. But the good thing is everything came out great. And uh, go ahead and hit that like button. We're trying to reach to a thousand subscribers, so please help us out. Tell your friends and family. And I'll see you next time with another great upgrade on the Ender 5 Plus. See you soon.